video is brought to you by SeatGeek. If you guys are looking for tickets for any event in the entire world, just use my last name, Code Hodge, and save yourselves 20 freaking dollars. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Brandon Hodge vlog. I'm gonna say this vlog is going to be a little bit chaotic, like very, very chaotic. So it is the night after Money in the Bank. Last night, I went to the Money in the Bank 2021 pay-per-view. Uh, it was a very, very good show. Frick John Cena returned, shocked the world. It was just a great moment. I did a reaction video, uh, like just a little clip from my vlog that went up for Money in the Bank. I just did like a little clip. I uploaded it, I titled it like John Cena Returns Live Crowd Reaction or something like that. And now it's on freaking trending. You heard me right, my video is actually trending. And I know that video's gonna get way more views than the vlog which I guess is completely fine, but uh, yeah, as of right now, as of the time I'm recording this uh, th this raw vlog, it has 218,000 viewers already, which is freaking crazy. But anyway, hopefully tonight's show is good as well. I'm actually flying back home tonight after Raw, which is something I've never done before, which is gonna be very, very crazy to do. Raw tonight, and this time zone, ends at like 10 p.m., uh, and my flight's at like 1 a.m., so I should have plenty of time to do all that. So hopefully everything goes to plan. But it's gonna be a little bit of a chaotic day for me, so hopefully everything goes pretty well and works to plan. All right, so I'm in the car now. I'm driving. Now, somewhere I really wanna see that means a lot to me. I'm from Bristol, Tennessee. We have a very big, you know, NASCAR track there. That's pretty much what the whole town of Bristol, Tennessee is built around. But here in Texas, Fort Worth area, they also have a NASCAR track called the Texas Motor Speedway, which is really, really cool. So while I'm here, might as well go see it. I've always wanted to see it. It's always something interesting. This 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 racetrack's always meant a lot to me because I used to be very into like the, the NASCAR video games and it was always my favorite racetrack to race at, the Texas Motor Speedway. So I'm gonna go check it out right now. guys so I went in the Texas Motor Speedway gift shop and look what I found it's a Texas Longhorn look he has like the Texas flag on the side of him his little hat that says Texas Motor Speedway on him and he's just so freaking adorable I had to get him I don't know how I'm gonna fit him in my backpack on the flight oh it looks so beautiful I'm trying to find like where it says Texas Motor Speedway just to stop and get a beautiful picture of myself in front of the place but Yeah, this place is freaking huge. It's way bigger than Bristol Motor Speedway. Look what I ran into. It's the official pace cars for the NASCAR races. There's three of them, I guess. Official pace cars. I got three of them. So, we have pump brakes, we got more, but the Camaros, we got brand new Camaros. They are wrapped beautifully. And at this point, I'm like, I don't know how this turned into a NASCAR vlog, but I'm from Bristol, so I'm a NASCAR fan. And I've been to races ever since I was like four years old. I guess at my first race, I was actually a baby. Uh, so thanks, Dad, for that one. But um, anyway, okay, here we go on Ticketmaster. See what Ticketmaster has left for WWE Monday Night Raw tonight in Dallas. I agree. And look, almost completely sold out, only the very, very top. I don't want to sell all the way up there. So StubHub, here I come. So I've been eyeing these tickets, like row, whatever, MM of 113. I've been eyeing those. So I just purchased those. It says, have a great time. I got my order number and all of that. And uh, hopefully they will transfer that to my Ticketmaster account. I believe it was what they're doing. They're transferring tickets. All right, those gentlemen, so I got my tickets for Ross. I'm happy about that. So checked out the Texas Motor Speedway. Freaking awesome. And it's still only 1.30 in the afternoon. So I got a while to blow before Raw. So on the way back to Dallas, I'm going to stop at AT&T Stadium. If you guys don't know what AT&T Stadium is, it's going to be the host of WrestleMania 38. So next year's WrestleMania will actually be here in the Dallas area at AT&T Stadium. So I'm going to check out the stadium. So here I am. I'm in Arlington, Texas, right over there. I don't know if you guys can see that. That is the AT&T Stadium. I'm going to try to get closer if I can. I don't know. So that is the AT&T Stadium. That is where WrestleMania 38 will be. Also, that's where WrestleMania 32 was. That is where the attendance record for the most attended WrestleMania was. That's where WrestleMania 32 was. WrestleMania 38, they're gonna even try to get even more people in there to break the record once again. I heard for WrestleMania 32, people actually had issues getting in the arena. I think they were trying to like shove too many people through one door or something. And some people missed like half the show. So hopefully they learn from their mistake for next year and they can actually get people through the door inside the stadium in time for the show to start. Uh, but yeah, this is a really, really cool place. And I'm gonna say that stadium is freaking giant. 
Ladies and gentlemen, my favorite restaurant in the whole world that I don't even have back home is here. They only, I've only been able to have it a few times in my whole life because they don't have them where I live. But it is In-N-Out Burger. I'm going to go enjoy this wonderful, wonderful creation right now. Oh, dude, look at that. Mmm. Mm. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is now like pouring down rain here in uh, in the Dallas area. It is uh, literally like pouring rain right now. Uh, so I came here to uh, this is called the Dallas Galleria Mall. Um, I'm gonna check out the mall, and I'm actually gonna do a little bit of editing because I haven't I have not yet had a chance to edit the Money in the Bank vlog yet. So I have to do that. So I came here to the uh, the Galleria, the Dallas Galleria Mall, and they have this store. And I just walked in, and the first thing I see is this store with all kinds of like signed sports memorabilia. They have like uh, Iron Mike Tyson, they have Muhammad Ali, Tom Brady stuff. I see the Beatles stuff up here. They had some ac actors autographed in there as well. Uh, but it's a really, really cool store there. And that's the first store I see when I walk in the in, in the door here at the Dallas Gallery Mall. I gotta say, I really digging it so far. Okay, this is officially the craziest mall I've ever seen in my entire life. There's an ice skating rink in the middle of July in Dallas, Texas. And there's floors like all the way up. This is, mall is giant. So like two hours later and I finally just now finished editing and I am trying to export this thing now because it is uh, 6.14 and the show starts at 6.30. So probably gonna miss the pre-show but hopefully I'll make it in time for the main show. So now I can say I am done editing the Money to Make vlog so that'll be up uh, tomorrow but like yesterday for you guys so it's already up so if you guys haven't seen that vlog go check it out but basically it is now time to go to the american airlines center for monday night raw i'm very very excited it's like a 15 minute drive here from the mall so this is what i'm doing right now monday night raw time with the king of vlog style mr brandon hodge here we go are not bad at all very very close a lot closer than i was expecting for that 80 bucks i paid off of stuff hub something's telling me it's that time you gotta love elias elias is so great so i had a 1 a.m flight and now i guess i have a 3 a.m flight because it just got freaking delayed Tonight. He's doing an open challenge. Open challenge for the for the, for the title, I guess? For the title? I guess so.
Okay, officially raising canes three nights in a row. I can officially say I'm a big fan of raising canes. Yeah, my flight's canceled. It is now almost 4 a.m. and I've decided to get a hotel. It's a Best Western. It was 60 bucks because this wasn't planned, but I'd like to have somewhere to sleep other than a chair that's very hard and uncomfortable at the airports. All right, so I found some food in here, finally. I had to wait a long line for it. I got a Chick-fil-A sandwich. All right, ladies and gentlemen, right now I'm in Denver, Colorado. Uh, yeah, you heard me right, I'm in Denver, Colorado. That is a bit far from where I'm trying to get to in Tennessee. So, yeah, the airline basically screwed me over and I could stand here and complain about Frontier Airlines all freaking day, but I don't feel like being negative about it. Just, I learned my lesson, I will never, ever fly a budget airliner again only the like the big ones with good customer support because their customer support sucked really badly and i ended up having to be stuck here in uh, denver colorado for the next like 10 hours but i'll eventually get home but this is what i'm gonna end the vlog because like being stuck in an airport isn't that exciting even though i could probably make it exciting but i'm just very very tired i actually found a nap station over here i'm very very excited to take me a nap uh, and also I'm gonna be editing this vlog in my downtime here So I have to end it so I can go ahead and edit it and get it to upload But yeah guys, that's gonna do it for this vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Monday Night Raw was a lot of fun Just I had a bit of a trouble getting out of Dallas after Monday Night Raw And I will never book a late flight like that again And I'll never book a budget cheap airliner again Always, always get what you pay for in the end Even though you can use them a few times to get lucky You always get that one time where it's literally gonna ruin for your entire freaking week but ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys for watching this brand new Hodge vlog. Right now on screen, I'm gonna leave a link to two previous videos for you guys to check out, as well as a button to subscribe to this channel if you're brand new here. But I am Brandon Hodge, and I will see you guys in the next video.